How to train basic strength in calisthenics to learn such cool skills without basic strength training. You won't be able to achieve such results and your progress will be very slow. Hi guys, I'm Andrew Strong, top calisthenic athlete and planche master. And after this video, you'll be able to create your own training plan, approach your workout more consciously. And today we will discuss the following questions. How to train and which exercise to perform? How many exercises, sets and reps to do? How to split workout? during the week how to not stuck in the progress and the main question when to start learning skills let's answer on the first question how to train and which exercise to do first you have to identify on which basic strength level you are i have identified four levels first level complete beginner you cannot do pull up and push up second level beginner athlete who can do at least five pull up and about 10 20 push up third level intermediate can do 10 15 pull up and around 30, 40, push up. And advanced level, athlete who can do 15 plus pull up and 40 plus push up. Each level has its own specific training. And now let's talk about level one. I advise for complete beginner to do light basic exercise to strengthen the muscle and increase the body control. To increase the pull strength, I recommend to do the neck exercise. Australian pull up, pull up with a resistant band. Negative pull up as slow as you can. Scar pull up, pull up. Next exercises for push power. Kneeling push up, decline push up. Hybrid push up, slowly down with the straight legs, then stand on knee and up. Exercises for core muscle. Knee raises to the 90 degree. Crunches, knee raise to the chest. Elbows plant, knee to the chest, one by one. Full leg muscle strengthening, body weight squat. Lunges walk, calf raises, step up, on the box. For this level, I recommend to do full body workout three times a week. That would last 45, 60 minutes. Do four exercise, three, four sets. For the hard exercise, do six, 10 repetitions. For the easier exercise, do 10, 15 reps. Focus maximum on the technique and don't work to the failure. As for beginner, failure can negatively affect for the muscle condition and the recovery will take way longer and it's a big risk to hurt yourself. Also, every after workout, I recommend to do the stretching routine for 10, 15 minutes. Due to the specific exercise, calisthenic athletes often feel a strong pain in their back. Therefore, I suggest using foam roller during the stretching to relax your muscle, to prevent the stricter movement and to elevate pain. I recommend using the FitBeast back roller set. This three pack provides different massage pressure, ensuring your entire back get the most comfortable pain relief. The set come in 12 inches, 9 inches and 6 inches sizes. When you lie on the rollers, the larger the size, the greater the area of your back that touch the wheels and the lower the intensity of the massage. The 12 inches roller massage superficial muscles. The 9 inches one reach deeper muscle and the smallest one 6 inches target deepest muscle. This ensures your entire back muscle gets the most comfortable relaxation. FitBeast back roller special spine groove design protect your spine from injury and unnecessary pressure. You will experience relaxation on both sides of your spine like never before. By using special link and this promo code, you will receive a 15% discount on the official website. If you're ordering from Amazon, you can get 10% discount by using this special code. All links and code you can find out in the description. Now you know how complete beginners should train. An example of workout routine I add to my closet telegram channel. Link you can find in the description. Join the channel. Level 2. Beginner. Athletes who can already do pull up, push up. I recommend to focus to increase in the strength, body control and also increase the repetition number. To increase the pull strength, I recommend to do the next exercises. Pull up, chin up, 90 degree hold. Australian pull up with the pose 3 seconds at the top. Australian pull up, feet elevated on a box. For push strength, do the next exercise. Regular push up, closet push up, slow push up, 2 seconds down and 2 seconds up. Dips on parallel bar dips with a resistant band. For the preview level, I already showed the exercises for abdominal and core muscle. Now I just will show the harder variation. Knee raise to the chest. Tackle sit hold on the horizontal bar. And what about the legs? For the legs, I recommend to do the same exercise as for beginner and also add some another variation. I advise doing full body workout that would last 60-75 minutes, three times a week. So for example, one day you do the regular one, the next day you do chin up. Also the next workout you can go wider or closer grip, the same in the push up. 
you can do the regular one, then a little bit wider or a little bit closer, like that. In the different days, you will focus on the different muscle group. Perform four or five exercises of three, four sets, and repetition should be around six, 15. It depends on which exercise you do. For the pull-up, it should be 6, 8 reps. For the push-up, it can be 15 plus. And for the squat, it can be even more. So try to do around 70-80% of your maximum reps. An example of workout routine I will add to my Telegram channel. And also, I will add video with a warm-up routine. So you just have to follow from beginning to the end. Level 3. Intermediate. At this level, you can start to learn the beginner skill because you have already strength and body control, so your body is ready. I recommend to practice all skill in the beginning of the workout when your body fresh, when you have a full energy, full strength, because all skills require a lot of your concentration and you will spend almost full energy. I think you have a question in your head. What skill can I learn? So you can start with the L seat, back lever, then human flag, headstand, Elbow planche, bending arm planche, and of course the handstand. I advise you to choose one, two skills, no more, and concentrate on them. And once you have to mastering them and can do easy without a lot of concentration and without too much shaking, then you can move to another one and keep improving the old one. Tutorials and tips how to learn back lever, handstand, human flag, you can find on my YouTube channel. Link I will add in the description. And what about the basic exercise? Because now you have a way more strength and more body control. I recommend to add the next exercises. Wide pull up for your back muscle. Slowly pull up with the pose three seconds. High pull up to the chest. Club push up. Five push up for strengthening your shoulders muscle. Wide push up for strengthening your chest muscle. Triceps extension. Lunge jump. Pistol squat with the hand assistance. Legs races to the bar, straight body races. Perfect exercise to increase the core muscle for the handstand and planche. Your workout should last about 90 minutes, four times a week. For this level, I recommend to do the split workout. Why? Because you start to learn the skill and I recommend to do only one skill in workout. So for example, today you do one skill, tomorrow rest, and the next workout, another skill. So in this way, you will have a two workout of each skill. For example, your workout will look like this. You have chosen two skills, back lever and handstand. So Monday and first workout in a week will look like back lever around 30-40 minutes routine and also the basic strength. Choose two three exercises for the back lever, what is suit for your level of strength. Because if you will choose two hard exercises, then you will not able to do with the proper technique. Back lever routine, rest around 5-10 minutes and move to the basic exercise. Choose four, five exercises. For example, one pull exercise, it will be strict pull up. Then two push exercise, push up on parallel bar and close it grip, push up, slowly down, slowly up. And one, two exercise for your abdominal muscle. And of course, after workout, do stretching routine for 10, 15 minutes. It will help a lot for your recovery. And now let's move to second workout of your week. Second workout of your week will look like in the beginning of the workout you do 30-45 minutes handstand routine for around 2-3 exercises. Then you do the basic routine for around 60 minutes. As in preview workout we focus more on back and chest. In this workout we focus on shoulders and biceps. About the handstand, don't rush in the progression. Choose exercise what is suit for your level of strength. Because if you will choose the hard one, then your technique will be shit and you will just fall, fall, fall. I would recommend practice near the wall and also do a lot of push-up, a lot of five push-up to increase your shoulder strength, to increase the body control, to increase the understanding on what position you are. So, if you want to see the tutorial, that I will add link in the description. And when you finish with the handstand routine, I recommend to rest 10 minutes and then move to the basic routine. Basic routine, two pull exercise, chin up and Australian chin up and two push exercise, pike push up and incline push up. And in the end, add one exercise for the leg and one exercise for the calf. Squat with a jump and calf races. Do each exercise four sets of 80% maximum of your maximum repetition. The rest should be around two minutes to third. And the duration of the workout should be around 90 minutes. One very important thing at this level is that sometimes you can go to the failure. Yeah, to the failure. For example, when you do the last set, you just push to the failure when you couldn't do even one more rep. At this point, your muscle will get maximum load and you will see amazing result. And of course, an example of our cloud routine I will add to my Telegram channel. So just go and take it. Finally, level four, advanced. In this level, you can start to learn harder skill as 
planche, front lever, handstand push up, muscle up. Why do you recommend to start learning this skill before? Because you don't have enough strength. And then you will not able to do with the perfect technique. And you will like, oh, why stuck in the progress? Why you can't push to the next level? Because you don't have enough strength. And you will fail, fail and fail. You're like, oh, why you can't start to learn this skill before? You know why? Because you didn't have such strength. You was not able to do 15 pull up. You was not able to push yourself more than 40 reps. And that means you don't have enough strength to do the pre-exercise, to do the exercise with the perfect technique to learn such skill. Because if you will do with a bad technique, if you will not able to push yourself, then like, oh, why I fail, fail, fail and can't progress. I can't go further. I can't go to the next step. Because lack of the strength. Strength, it's very important to learn the advanced skill. Don't rush. Basic strength. Also, in this level, you can start to adding extra weight yeah, for your pull-up, dips and push-up. But how many weight to add? So, it all depends on your goal. If you want to increase strength, add weight with which you can do 3-5 reps. If you want to build the muscle, then you should add weight with which you can do at least 8-12 reps. And if you want to increase your endurance, add weight with which you can do 15 plus reps. Actually, I would recommend to do 1 strength workout a week and 1 workout for endurance and increase your explosive power. What will your workout look like? Your workout should last around one and a half hours, two hours, four or five times a week, depending on your recovery time. If you recover fast, then you can do five times. But if you feel from one workout to another workout, you not recover well, then you should do only four times a week. It's maximum. And about the skills, concentrate on learning only one, two skills and keep improving skills what you can already do. Okay, for example, you have choose two skills. Planche and muscle up. First workout, planche plus weighted pull up and exercise for the core muscle. So you spend around 45 minutes for the planche routine. It should be around two, three exercises. And then just do two sets of regular pull up just to warm up, to prepare your body for weighted pull up. Weighted pull up, do four sets of eight, 10 reps and rest, three, 30, yeah. And when you're done with the weighted pull up, I recommend to do two more sets, regular one, yeah. Just to increase your endurance. In the end of workout, do Two exercises for the core muscle. First exercise, leg raises to the bar. Do four sets of eight, 12 reps. And the second exercise, hold of hold raises on the floor. Do four sets of 20 reps. On next workout, you can focus on another skill. For example, on first workout, you did planche. So it's more push skill. Now you can focus on muscle up, more pull skill. And also add weighted dips and one more skill. What you can already do just to improve. And in the end of workout, I recommend to do 10 minutes exercise for increase your forearm strength because forearm it's important in calisthenic almost in every skill. So the first exercise, wrist curl. Second exercise. And if you don't have a dumbbell, then you can do with a band. If you don't have a band, then you should buy. So let's do for the forearm. Pronation, other. I recommend to do every exercise, two sets of 15 reps and rest just one minute. And the same as I do for the preview level. One example of full workout routine I will add to my yes, Telegram channel. And the last question what I would like to answer. How to avoid stagnation and keep progressing. First important why is that I recommend to planning each training week. And also keeping a workout will not track it with the reps, set, rest and also extra weight. In this way, you can track your progress and understand if you do everything right. Every week, try to add few more repetition or few second hold in the position. If you do with the extra weight, try to add more extra weight. And then in few weeks, you just take your journal and check, mm, it's no progress there. So it means you have a double check your training plan and change something. So because it doesn't work in the right way, you don't see any progress, you have to change or pay more attention on technique. Second advice, try to follow the right technique. With many years experience as an athlete and coach, I see many athletes neglect the technique and because of this, they progress slow down. So you need to master the correct technique so that the right muscles are involved in the work and you can maintain the right position and also engage the right muscle. Third important things, don't rush in the progression. So what does it mean? For example, you decided to start learning the planche, yes? And the first position is a planche lean, but you not master the planche lean in correct position and not enough long, you go directly to the tuck planche and go directly to advanced attack planche and just go, 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 but you couldn't do with the right position and then you just fail, fail, fail and say like, ah, why I fail, why I cannot do? Because you don't have enough strength and you just rush from position to another position. I recommend to master the position 
where you can hold easy, you can feel your body then move to another progression, for example, tuck planche. And when you will able to do the 15 second tuck planche, you can move to another progression, advanced tuck planche, and like this, step by step to the goal. Another very important advice that try to follow the periodization and have the load week. How to follow the periodization? Just I will try to explain just in the easy words that you can understand. So, one month you train hard, yes? Then one week you have a deload where your muscle, your body recover and you get rest for your brain too. Also you can follow periodization from workout to workout, also from week to week. So how to from workout to workout? For example, today you have a hard planche workout. So the next planche workout should be easier or you have one week hard planche workout. So the next week should be easier or you have a hard pull workout today with the extra weight. So the next workout do light without weight. I hope you understand my explanation, yeah? But if you're a little bit confused, and like ah oh, it's too much information then write your question in a comment and i will answer every comment i will answer and now the last and most important point that do not be overtraining and recover well yeah because a lot of athletes just overtraining because i say oh i will train today i will train tomorrow and my progress will be fast no then your progress will slow because you are overtraining you don't have enough time to recover well for recover well you have to eat well sleep well stretching after workout and also massage and drink enough the water then your recovery will way faster and you will be ready for the next workout that's all for today and i believe that this video will help you a lot and you will show the best result so thank you for watching and don't forget to show me your support then tap the like write a comment and subscribe yes thank you for watching you are the best i'm andrew strong and see you soon bye bye bye